A thoracostomy is a small incision of the chest wall, with maintenance of the opening for drainage. Rib spreaders are inserted into the wound and the ribs are spread apart exposing the lung. Pericardiectomy, subtotal, or complete, without cardiopulmonary bypass. With cardiopulmonary bypass, the physician cuts away most or all of the pericardial tissue while the heart is still beating, taking care to leave the phrenic nerves intact. The physician closes the sternal or chest wall incision and dresses the wound. The physician may leave chest tubes and slash or mediastinal drainage tube in place following the procedure. Thoracostomy, with rib resection for empyema. Using a scalpel, an incision is made through the skin of the chest and the incision is deepened to expose a portion of a rib. To enter the chest cavity, a short segment of the exposed rib is removed using rib cutters. The resulting defect in the chest wall allows for the continuous release of pus from the empyema. Thoracostomy, with open flap drainage for empyema. To create a drainage site, a short segment of the rib is removed using rib cutters. The resulting defect in the chest wall allows for the continuous release of pus from the empyema. To ensure that the drainage wound stays open, a flap is created in the skin and subcutaneous tissues. Thoracotomy with diagnostic biopsy, IES, of lung infiltrate, S, e.g., wedge, incisional, unilateral. Thoracotomy, with diagnostic biopsy, IES, of lung nodule, S, or mass, ES, e.g., wedge, incisional, unilateral. Thoracotomy, with biopsy, IES, of pleura. Using a scalpel, the skin between two ribs is incised and the tissues separated to expose the inside of the chest cavity. A sample of tissue is removed using a biopsy needle or by cutting with a scalpel or scissors. The surgical wound created is closed by suturing. Thoracotomy, with exploration. Using a scalpel the surgeon makes a long incision around the side of the chest between two of the ribs. The incision is carried through all the tissue layers into the chest cavity. Tissue can be sampled by using a biopsy needle or by grasping tissue and cutting it with a scalpel or scissors. Incision is closed in layers of sutures. Thoracotomy, with cyst, S, removal, includes pleural procedure when performed. The lung cyst is located and removed by sharp and blunt dissection of the tissues. Thoracotomy, with resection plication of bully, includes any pleural procedure when performed. The lung bully is located and removed by sharp and blunt dissection of the tissues and often by folding and suturing of the tissues, plication. Thoracotomy, with removal of intrapleural foreign body or fibrin deposit. The foreign body or fibrin deposit is located and removed by sharp and blunt dissection. Thoracotomy, with removal of intrapulmonary foreign body. The foreign body is located and removed by sharp and blunt dissection. Thoracotomy, with cardiac massage. The heart is exposed and squeezed rhythmically to mimic cardiac contractions thus pumping blood through the body. The heart may be directly contra-shocked to produce spontaneous heartbeats.
tracheostomy, planned. Under two years. Tracheostomy, emergency procedure, transtracheal. Cricothyroid membrane. Tracheostomy, fenestration procedure with skin flaps. The physician makes a horizontal neck incision and dissects the muscles to expose the trachea. The thyroid isthmus is cut if necessary. The trachea is incised and an airway is inserted. Mediastinotomy with exploration, drainage, removal of foreign body, or biopsy, cervical approach. Transthoracic approach, including either transthoracic or median sternotomy. A mediastinotomy is the creation of a small opening in the upper chest into the mediastinum. This opening allows the doctor to examine the area between and in front of the lungs. Ventriculomyotomy, myectomy, for idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis, e.g., asymmetric septal hypertrophy. Cardiopulmonary bypass is initiated. The aorta is opened and the left ventricular outflow tract is assessed below the valve. Usually, the left ventricular septal muscle is thickened. A trough of muscle tissue is cut out of the left ventricular septal muscle. The aorta is closed. Cardiopulmonary bypass is discontinued when heart function returns. Tube pericardiostomy Pericardiostomy is a surgical procedure that creates an opening in the pericardium. The space between the two layers is called the pericardial cavity. The needle, along with a J-tip wire and French pigtail catheter, is advanced through the area to drain the fluid in the pericardial cavity. The excess fluid is manually aspirated and examined later on to check for signs of microbial agents such as fungi, bacteria, and viruses through cell culture. Pericardiotomy for removal of clot or foreign body The physician removes a clot or foreign body from the pericardial space. The physician performs a midline sternotomy, incising skin, fascia, and the sternum. The pericardium is incised and the clot or foreign body is removed. The pericardium is repaired loosely, leaving gaps for blood and fluid to drain into the pleural space. The sternum is reanastomosed with sternal wires and the skin is sutured in layers. Cardiotomy, exploratory, includes removal of foreign body, atrial or ventricular thrombus, without bypass. With cardiopulmonary bypass, the physician exposes the heart via the sternum. The foreign body is located by feeling the heart. If possible, the object is removed from the surface of the heart. If necessary, a hole is made in one of the ventricles or atria to remove the object or thrombus lodged there. The holes are closed with sutures and small reinforcing patches of Teflon felt. <laughs>